Hello everyone, it's Melissa with Melissa's Creations here. I'm excited for another episode of Melissa's Creations Live. This is our 14th episode since I've been doing this and I'm so excited. I love coming live to you guys. I love showing you projects that I enjoy doing and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Today, I'm just gonna jump right in. We're gonna get started with our gorgeous card. This is the sample I have for you today. It is a case, copy and share everything from the Occasions 2017 catalog. Actually, this is from the Celebration Flyer, but it kind of coincides with that catalog. Celebration is all about getting free stuff. Who doesn't love that? You can get free stuff by shopping, hosting, or joining. So if you want some more information on that, let me know. We're going to dive right into this card. This is using Avant Garden. I did this in one of my virtual Facebook parties and it was a big hit. So I can't wait to share it with you guys. If you get out your Celebration flyer, you'll be able to see it in there and you can see what products you need to purchase in order to make this card. This is on page four of the Celebration flyer. List everything out right there, what you need to get that stamp set for free. I am changing up the colors just slightly to suit what I have on hand, but here we go. I can't wait. Now my screen may not show the comments so if you do comment and I don't say anything I apologize I'm not ignoring you it's just for some reason not showing up for me on my screen let's see if maybe when I turn you around it'll work hi Ramona I see you on my computer at the moment from Germany that's fantastic thanks for joining let me turn you guys around we'll get started on today's card all right here we go, zoom you in a bit. Hopefully that stays. My, my setup here is very crude, but it works. Hello, Sara. So nice to see you again. Okay, here is our card today. I just think this is stunning. And it showcases stamping, and that's what stamping up, stamping up is all about. I really love the colors in here. So we're gonna do a variation of this today. There are gonna be a few very slight differences. Thank you so much, isn't that beautiful? I just love it, I think it's so stunning. It's done using the Avant Garden stamp set, which is a celebration item. Every $50 you spend before shipping and tax, you get a free item out of the celebration flyer, and that is one of these. Okay, I have Peekaboo Peach for my card base. So this is U.S. size. This is cut at uh, from an 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper. We have 5.5 by 8.5. And, and then you can either score it in the middle at 4 and a quarter, or you can just fold it right over. I'm just going to go ahead and fold this one. I think this is... I may have already chopped a little bit off of here. I think it's the right size. But really, you can make cards any size you want. And I'll show you a larger size card, just a little off topic. I'm doing a virtual event for my hostess, and this is a large card. Can you see the size difference? So here's a regular card, and then we, did, we made a large one. Isn't that fun? You can really make cards any size you want. That's the great thing about making your own. Hello, Christy from England. Oh my goodness, beautiful England. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, this is Peekaboo Peach from the Ink Colors. I have a piece of Whisper White here, and I'm going to cut a card mat to go on my card front. So we're going to cut that at four by five and a quarter inches. Let's see. What's this length? That's good. I'll cut it four this way. And then five. Oops. <laughs> That's not going to work. Oh, silly me. Well, you know what? Hey, I'll make that work anyway. I'm just going to chop a little bit. I'm just going to chop another quarter of an inch off of here. It's all about adapting, right? <laughs> I cut it too small, but you know what? We're going to make it work anyway. There. That's not bad. It's just a larger border is all. Okay, and then I have this piece, which... Um, I'm going to layer behind my crumb cake piece. So on the front here, I have my crumb cake piece, but it's only a single layer. 
Hi, Judy from Oregon. Oh my goodness, small world. I'm from Oregon. I'm currently in Virginia, but I'm from Oregon, Southern Oregon. I'm going to cut my crumb cake piece to measure, hmm, to measure one and a quarter. We'll go with that. <laughs> this project today is kind of, I mean, I know the ideas that I want to make. I have a really good idea of, of what I want to do with what I have, but I'm kind of just going along with it as I go. Kind of making it my own. That's one of Stampin' Up's themes from their latest catalog, uh, Stampin' Success Demonstrator Magazine, is Mitmo or Mityo. Make it my own, make it your own. So that's kind of where I'm going with that, right here, okay? Um, and now, that's all the cutting I'm gonna do. So, let's get to some stamping. I need to grab my blocks. So set that aside for a moment, and I'm going to grab my D, my, which one is a C, and we have a few stamps we're going to use, so I'm just going to grab out a couple different sizes here. That should do it. Okay, it's the clear block caddy. I absolutely love that for toting around my items. Okay, stamp wise, we are going with this gorgeous flower, and I'm going to put him here. We're going with the leaf, the other leaf the little middle flower stamen guys and then our sentiment to someone who makes others so happy that's not going to fit on there so let's just swap these two there we go we'll swap these two now <laughs> oh, it's all about finding that block that fits okay so I'm going to stamp my sentiment first I have some Crumb Cake Classic Ink. What I really love about this card is it really showcases the stamping because that's what we're all about, right? Okay, so I'm going to put that right in the middle here. I will make this card too, but tomorrow because tonight is Top Chef <laughs> in France, the first episode of the season. That's awesome. <laughs> well, when you make it, be sure to let me know how it turns out. I'd love to see it. Send me a, a photo. Okay, so there's our sentiment. Now we're gonna get to stamping our wonderful flowers. So I have Peekaboo Peach Classic Ink, and I'm going to take my flower. And first of all, I'm gonna stamp one up here. And so that I can get my placement, so that I can see where I'm stamping, I'm just gonna kind of set this where I think it's gonna go, about here. But I'm gonna flip it over, like that, okay? And then I'm going to stamp my image. This is basically my mask, so I can make sure I have a good placement. Okay, just like that. So see, it's masked, but when I put my items over it, it won't cover up too much of my flower and then I can use that same technique for my other pieces here. So now I'm going to switch from peach to taupe. Well, I'm sorry, crumb cake. I think it calls for tip top taupe, which is gorgeous with this card, but I had um, some crumb cake laying around that I wanted to use up, so I went with that instead. All right, so same thing here, but I'm going to stamp off so it's not quite so dark. So we'll stamp off once and then, oops, I'm put this over here. So I just want it really to be pretty light. And then we'll do that again, stamp off and stamp it kind of down a little. You wanna make sure there's something a little squishy when you're using your photopolymer stamps. I have quite a few layers of this grid paper, so it's pretty squishy and it's doing a really nice job. If you don't have grid paper, use a foam mat of some sort 
to help you get a really good image. Oh, we're not quite done with that yet. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, so now I have my little middle flower guys. And I'm gonna stamp those with full color so that they look like they're in the middle of the flower. Like that. Beautiful. And now we'll grab out our pear pizzazz. You need a nice green to contrast our neutral-ish colors. I'm considering my peekaboo peach to be kind of more of a neutral. So you really want to make sure you have a nice green to balance everything out. Oops. Let's see if I can. It's okay. Okay, and then sometimes I'm going to stamp full ink and then I want to do another one partial ink so I can get all of those wonderful tones. I know, isn't it a versatile set? There's so many things you can do with it. I know I've done a few samples before using this set, although off the top of my head, I can't remember what they are. All right, and then the last item is this more solid leaf. So we'll just kind of place him and this is just the fun part. You can really stamp this however you want. Put the leaves wherever, do one or two. Light and dark, I think that's cute. Okay, and again, it really showcases the stamping. So that's what I love so much about this specific sample. All right, I'm gonna set that aside for a moment. And I have my piece of Whisper White. Now I cut this one and about one and a half wide. And the width, you just need it long enough to go across the front of your card. We're gonna trim off the edges. And then this crumb cake piece is one and a quarter. So it's just a quarter of an inch, give or take. Might be an eighth of an inch off, but it's close. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna grab my adhesive. I have my snail here. We're just gonna attach those together. Just like that. I made lists on my YouTube channel so I don't forget the projects. I, I know, isn't that great? The playlist feature and the saved videos, those are great. All right, so now I'm going to snail that onto this piece at an angle, and I wanna make sure that when I am gluing this on, that my edges come off both sides. Oh, you're fine, no, your English is fantastic. So that my edges come off both sides so that I can trim it right in line with my mat like that. Do this side. Perfect. <gasps> it's gorgeous already. I love it. Okay. Now before we put this onto our card base, I'm going to use some linen thread. Now on the sample in the flyer, if we turn to page four, I believe, Yes, page four right here. So here's their version. So they used uh, So Saffron and Crushed Curry for their yellows. And I used Peekaboo Peach. So you can see it's a, you know, it's a little different, but again, that's how you make it your own. And this Baker's Twine is what they used in the Crushed Curry color. I'm using Linen Thread. And I'm, instead of wrapping around once, I'm gonna wrap it around twice. So, there's one and two. Technically, maybe three because I'm gonna tie it over here now. Um, let's see if I can do my bow. I was, I was trying to do this bow during my live event and it was just not happening for me. So I'm just gonna tie it in a knot first and then I'll try my my bow in a minute. Okay, 
So just wrap that around a couple times. And I love how the linen thread looks with the crumb cake too. I just think it really adds something. So now I'm just gonna trim that off and then I'll get it on my project and then we'll tie my bow. My scissors are getting dull, oh no. My husband's been using them to cut paracord. <laughs> and so they're a little dull. Okay, I'm gonna pop that up with some dimensionals. And I just have my, my bare bones on my, my piece here. But I love using every piece. It's more difficult to me to speak English than to write it. I know, the English language, I've heard that, that it's, it's difficult to, le to learn, but also reading and writing it are just two different worlds. Even I have trouble with my English. <laughs> I think all everybody that has English as a first language still has trouble with it sometimes. All right. So now we're going to pop that up on the front. And then there's just one more step to add some bling. Love it. Okay. That piece. One more. <laughs> Oh, it's so pretty. I do think I like it with the thicker border around. What do you think? I'll show you both in just a minute. Now let me attempt to tie a little bow here. Usually the linen thread does really well with bows. Yeah, not bad. Okay. I'm liking it. So far so good. And then the last step we'll just add We'll throw on a few of these beautiful pearls. If I can find my, if I can find my little paper piercer, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna put one up here. I'm gonna put one down here. And again, you could even space those flowers out more than I did. Then you'd really be able to see most of your stamping. And then there, like that. And that's all there is to this gorgeous card. Love it. Here are the two kind of different styles, if you will. One with a thicker and one with a thinner. There we go. So yeah, there it is. Which one is your favorite? I think I still like my original. But you know what? Make it your own. Change it up a little bit. Change the dimensions. Maybe change a couple of colors. I used Old Olive on this. And I used Pear Pizzazz on this. And I used Tip Top Taupe ink here. But Crumb Cake ink here. So, that you know, there's a little difference in both. But they're still very, very cute. I'm going to turn you guys around and then uh, have a little chit chat. Okay, there we go. Yes, we are still in the hotel in Virginia. Just getting getting some things finalized and situated. Let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. So that bed has laundry on it. Don't don't look at that. <laughs> So yes, that was our sample today. That was using the celebration set Avant Garden. Love it. Hello, Kayla from Australia. Nice and early here. So glad I could pop in. Me too. I'm so excited you guys joined me today. Thank you, Ramona. I love this card. Um, and like I said, it's just cased from the celebration flyer. Page four has some really good ideas right here with all the supplies that you need to earn the stamp set for free and have all the supplies so you can make dozens of these cards and have them on hand just in case. That's this is another really great card to have on hand because to someone who makes others so happy, that's a very versatile sentiment. You can use it for a birthday, a just because, a thank you. There's a lot of different occasions you can use this stamp set. Love it. And it also does include, and I know it's backwards, but happy birthday wishes and thanks for being you. And can we just talk about this splatter for a second? I love that splatter. Isn't that just gorgeous? You could put that, you could totally put that on this card too and make it your own. So I don't really have a lot of news. I just wanted to share that card with you guys really quickly. I, I am booking virtual events. So if anybody in the United States is interested in hosting a party, let me know. I'd be more than happy to do a virtual event for you. 
If you live in Oregon or close to it and you need a demonstrator or you'd like to get together and hang out, let me know. I'll be back home soon so we can get together. That's basically it for today. I am going to jump back over to Facebook so I can do a few more events. Um, I do want to let you guys know, it's kind of off topic, but more chit chat instead of card related. I joined 31 to be an independent consultant. I don't know if you can see the bags behind me, but I just did my launch video for my unboxing, my pink box right here. I was so excited. Um, again, it's a US thing, so I apologize for you guys that are, well, they may sell in other countries. I don't know. I'm new at it, so I'm still figuring it out, but uh, if anybody's interested in looking at my video, let me know. I'll get you the link. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this fun celebration card. Hopefully next week I will have a really awesome project for you guys. And don't forget, Friday is a, a new video is coming. And it has to do with a Facebook post I posted asking my viewers and readers to pick a color and a stamp set. And then from the people that commented, I picked a winner and I made a card based on that, and that person is receiving the card. If any of you are not on Facebook and are interested in participating in something like that, let me know. I'd be happy to custom tailor one for my YouTube viewers and subscribers. Thanks so much for visiting me today. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.